In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys on functions of real variables. Actually, I'm going to be looking into rules of inverse of functions. So if you look at the board, at the left hand side, we have four rules of inverse of function. And we're going to apply it into this question here fx f of x is equal to 3x minus 2 so now the first rule over there we're not going to take much time we're going to just go straight to what we have to do f of x is equal to 3x minus 2 and the first rule over at the left hand side there says replace function fx with what y so now the function fx now is same as what y is now equal to 3x minus 2 all right now but meanwhile the actual question i want to solve on today is a uh, Today uh, on this video, actually, it's actually on this uh, this one. I titled question one that said verify that f uh, dot f inverse of x equal to x. So actually, before we do this, we need to need our f inverse. So to find our f inverse, we need to obey all these rules at the left hand side. So now we've just obeyed the first rule. Now the second rule now says replace every x with y and every y with x. So I think this is what we're gonna get. All right. So the next rule here, number three, says solve for the value of y from step two above. Now, this is at step two, actually. So and so we should solve for the value of y. Now, how do we solve for the value of y from this? It's very easy. In order to eliminate two from this side, we have to add a plus two to both sides. So we have this to be what x plus two is equal to 3y minus two then plus two all right so when we have minus two plus two notice that uh, minus two plus two cancels out so what we're left with here is actually x plus two equal to three y so from here what we need to do is divide both sides by the coefficients of y which is three so that from here now we notice that three has cancelled out we have our y now to be equal to x plus two all over three so we are done with this actually but then remaining the last rule number four rule number four said replace y with f inverse so these are y now we replace it with what f inverse so we have this to be f inverse now is now equal to x plus two all over what three so this is more like f inverse of, of x all right so this is what we got so now from here now we are done with this particular aspect of finding f inverse because we actually need f inverse over here so now the next thing is to know how to simplify this and then solve with it now f dot f inverse of x equal to x so we say that once we are able to simplify this we should end up with what x all right so now once you are given something like f dot f inverse of x what it actually means is that you have this view of your f outside then you have this to be f inverse of what x all right close the brackets should give you what x okay so you have this uh to be this now once you're able to simplify this you should be able to get what x so that is actually what we ought to do and the first thing to do the first step to do this is that you have to simplify the one inside the bracket first the f inverse of x what do we get f inverse of x to be now looking at this from this point we got our f inverse of x to be what x plus two all over three this is actually what we got so this is more like bringing down f here right okay so we have this now looking at this i want to explain something again now if you have a f of x plus 2 over 3 you know that this actually expression inside here is more like uh, x all right when you are talking about your fx but at this point it actually means that all your x now have been replaced with what x plus 2 over 3 that is what you use in replacing your x so in any place you see your x in this particular expression of fx you're going to replace it with x plus 2 over 3 so this is what we're going to get so from this point we have this to be what 3 into what this is now x plus 2 all over 3 then close bracket minus 2 all right so from here we can easily cancel out that 3 cancels what 3 we have this to be what x plus 2 then what minus 2 so if we have x plus 2 minus 2 we'll notice that plus 2 minus 2 goes so we have this to be just what x all right so you see that what you said is actually correct down that means if we have f of uh, let's say f dot f inverse of x we are going to have it to be equal to what x we've just proved it and it's very correct so now let's move to question number two so on the board here we have a question that said h of x is equal to x plus 4 all over 2x minus 5 
So uh, this is actually the same way you do the other one. The only thing you do the same thing. You obey the rules at the left hand side of this video. Replace function of fx with y. That is the first thing you do. Replace every uh, x with y and every y with x. That's the second one. The third one says solve for the value of y from the step two above. So whatever you get from step two above, after replacing every x with y and every y with x, you solve for your y. All right. And the last one said replace your uh, y with what f inverse of x all right so in case uh once you're done doing this you're going to end up with answer like this so you're going to end up with an answer of uh, h inverse of x is equal to 5x plus 4 over 2x minus 1 all right so this is actually what you're going to get so but the major thing i want to focus more on this video is how to uh solve this one because this is actually on verification it said verify that h dot h inverse of x is equal to x all right so how do you now verify the same way we do the other one but this time around we're going to look at uh, this question solution over here all right so that uh on this board now we we'll notice that uh, there was an attempt to solve this question actually by uh, multiplying the numerator and denominator by 2x minus 1 you see now i'll have things like this that go on on the board here so we have this actually i noticed that the it was further simplified to have just an x but then how do you apply all those things that if you don't know how to put your 2x minus 1, notice that this is just a sample question and sample solution on it. So then, we'll do something over here now. The same way we do the other one. Now, look at this. First of all, we know that uh, if we're just given this uh, h inverse of this equal to this, we know that this uh, h inverse was formerly what? y was equal to 5x, all right, plus 4 all over uh, this what we have. We have 2x minus 1. All right. So, but this uh, doesn't have any effect on what we want to do. But I just want to make sure that you know what it still uh, means. So this is what we have. From here now, what we need to do from here is to understand that uh, when we have something like this, this question here, this is same as h of uh, h inverse. So I say something before. It's same as having your h outside of what you have your h inverse of the remaining thing inside here is what five x. All right. All right, let's have this here. Let's have this be h inverse of x. All right, let's go gradually. And it's equal to x. All right. So once you have your h inverse, like I said, h inverse have been gotten to be what? So this is uh, 5x plus 4. All right, you should learn to simplify. Then 2x minus 1. All right, so this is what we have. It's sum as having what your h outside here. I said that it should be equal to what? x. All right. So then how do you uh, deal with this to give you x? The only thing you need to do is to go back to this particular point here in the expression that tells you that what your h of x, that is the same as saying that this is just your, like your h of what x, all right? So this is more like a h of x over here now. Let's have it here. So if you have our h of x to be this now, let's have our equal to from this side. So this side now, any place you see x, we replace it with what? This expression inside this bracket. We replace it with 5x plus 4 over 2x minus 1. So this is what we have to do from here. So over here, we have an x over up here. So we have it to be what? 5x plus 4, uh -huh. then plus another 4. Remember that this, we're not done yet. This is 5x plus 4 into a bracket. That is uh, 2x minus 5. All right, this is just for x. So we have this with minus 4. Uh, okay, plus 4 all over. So this is now 2 into our x now is what? 5x plus 4 all over we have this with 2x minus what 1 so uh this is now minus 5 all right so what you have to do from here is just to keep simplifying the more you simplify the more you uh, get actual things that you need you'll be seeing it clearly from here so from here we have this if we simplify this question up here now we have it to be that is if we want to expand we have this actually to be uh 5x plus 4 all over we have a uh, 2x minus 5 all right so uh this is what we have from this point so we subtract oh sorry uh remember that this is actually we're dealing with uh, h inverse so let's actually replace this actually let's write it properly so from here we know that this is actually 2x minus 1 all right so we have this be minus 1 over here all right, so this is actually minus 1. All right, so from here now, we continue from what we're doing. 
So from here, we have something like this. Now this is 2x plus 4 over 2x minus 1. That is for this particular one over here. Then we'll have it to be what, plus 4. Now let's uh, simplify this denominator by dividing by 1. The numerator alone. Now this is a numerator we're solving for now. So let's solve for the numerator from this point. So this is the numerator. So later we're going to solve for the denominator here. So we have the LCM of this is going to be what, 2x minus 1. All right, so 2x into 2x is going to give us 1 times. So 1 times this will have to be 5x plus 4. All right, so we have this like this. Uh, let's put it in bracket. So next is a plus. One, 2x minus 1 divided by 1 over here is going to give us 2x minus 4. So we'll multiply by 4 up here. We'll have this to be 4 into 2x. That is 4 times 2 is going to give us uh, 8x. Then minus what? 4 times 1 is what? 4. All right, so from here we can decide to do some cancellation. That is minus 4 cancel plus 4. So what we'll have actually is a 5x plus 8x is going to give us what 13x. So at this point, we'll have this to be what 13x all over 2x minus what 1. So this is 13x. So now let's go to the denominator and simplify. From this denominator, now we'll have this to be a 2 times 5 is going to give us what 10. We'll multiply this 2 by everything up here. So 2 times 5 is going to give us what 10x plus 2 times uh, 4 is going to give us 8 all over. The denominator is still the same. 2x minus 1, then minus what? 5. All right, this is same as 5 over 1. So let's find the LCM. Let's get the LCM from uh, the denominator. So have the LCM from here is 2x minus 1. So 2x divided by 2x minus 1, same thing as what? Uh, 1 times. So 1 times 10 is still 10x plus 8. All right. So from here, we'll have this to be 2x minus 1 divided by 1 over here is going to give us 2x minus 1. They multiply it by 5. We're going to end up with just a 5 uh, into, that is 5 times 2 is going to give us 10x. So 5 times 1 is going to give us what? Minus 5. All right. That is a uh, minus times minus is going to give us plus. So this is going to give us minus 10x plus 5. So this is what we have. From here, we can decide to cancel out some things that are common. We have that uh, plus 10x minus 10x is going to give us 0. So 8 plus 5 is not going to give us a 13 all over 2x minus 1. So now we are going to bring this uh, by rationalization. So we have this to be what? 13x all over 2x minus 1 is not going to divide. This is same as divide by 13 all over 2x minus 1. So this goes up while this comes down for this to change to multiplication. So we have this to be 13x. Let me write it well. So this is 13x all over 2x minus 1 is not going to multiply what? 2x minus 1 all over 13. So this goes with this. So we're left with 13x all over 13. So we'll notice that from here, 13 cancels 13. We have this to be left with just what? x. So that is how we got to this point. So thanks for watching this video. Do well to subscribe. This is Action Learning website. See you in my next video.